Last week it was my late grandfather's birthday and I celebrated the day with some of his old stuff. Uh, so I remember while doing so I was hooked on one of the pictures. As far as I remember I think it was clicked somewhere in 2002 or 2003. Uh, the entire family was on a vacation to Missouri. So in this picture I noticed that as a kid I had a very defined jawline and a razor sharp chin. In short I had a very sexy face. As I flipped a few more pages I was surprised to see that I got those features from my late grandfather. Now after 25 years those features are gone. Like they are they are hiding behind some unwanted fact. But I've decided to get them back kyunki internet kehta hai that is possible. It's possible to get your chin and jawline back with the help of some face exercises. So while doing the research, I read a lot of articles about this. So there are kind of mixed reactions, mixed reviews. But see, there is nothing bad in trying. Try to करना ही चाहिए एक बार. So let's talk about it. Before we start, for those who have stumbled upon me for the first time, I am Sahil, and I'm a storyteller. I love to craft stories and content about raw and simple living about those few things of life that matter the most. All right then. So the reality is face definition or face toning doesn't start with your face exercise. Rather, it starts with your nutrition. According to face exercise practitioners, in order to lose fat from your face, we have to lose fat from our entire body. And while we are working on our entire body, we must have a diet plan which can help us lose fat without losing the muscles that we have been gaining specifically we must concentrate on our calories and our protein so first we have to cut down our calories from our diet especially those calories that come from carbohydrates or any inflammatory food so what happens when you create this calorie deficit your body forces your system to use the pre-existing fat as fuel and this is how you start losing fat from your entire body including your face second thing that we need to concentrate on is protein according to studies we must eat more protein somewhere around 2.3 to 3.1 grams of protein per kilogram of our body weight at the same time we must evenly divide our protein intake throughout the day aim for 25 to 30 grams of protein in every meal This keeps the protein synthesis level elevated to help muscles recover and grow. Now comes the face exercises. Let's start from the bottom of the face. The first one is neck lift. This exercise firms up the double chin and at the same time it tightens the neck and jawline to prevent sagging. Just turn your head to one side. Lift your head up at about a 45 degree angle and push forward your chin. This is when you will feel the stretch in your neck. Hold this pose for 5 seconds and then do the same on the other side. Repeat it 5 times. Let's move to the second one, jaw stretch. This is my favorite one because it firms and tones the jawline. Start by bending the index and middle fingers on both hands. Then place your chin between your knuckles and glide along your jawline to under your ears in a sweeping motion. Repeat it 5 times. Then comes the face lift. This one smoothens the smile lines while lifting your eyes and upper cheeks. Just place both palms on your temples. Push your hands up and back lifting the sides of your face. Then open your mouth and make an O shape. Drop your jaw to make your face as long as possible. Hold this pose for 5 seconds and then repeat two more times. Last but not the least, forehead smoother. This one prevents wrinkles and forehead lines by relaxing the forehead muscles and using acupressure to remove tension. Start by making a fist with both the hands. Place the index and middle finger knuckles in the center of your forehead and apply firm pressure. Maintain the pressure as you slowly slide your fist out to each side. 
and end it by gently pressing your knuckles into your temples. Repeat this one 4 more times. And yeah, the most important thing, don't forget to wash your hands before you touch your face. Alright then, so if I have to summarize, the nutrition, the face workout, the full body workout, all these three things are equally important if you want to lose fat from your face. But frankly speaking, it's not that easy. The face workout is a little painful. Literally, it's not painful body workout when you hota jitna isme hota hai. I feel it the entire day. That is why I do it just twice a week. But if you want to see quick results, at least try to do it four to five times a week. Cool then. I hope you get fit soon. I'm Sahil, this is Pop Roads, and as always, we are walking together. Thank you.